Hey gang, L D back with you once again. Uh, for today's video, I thought about showing you guys the, uh, the new attack strategy I've been working on. I was looking at it and I don't feel like I quite have a handle on it just yet. I want to cycle through another like 12 attacks, just so I, I feel like I got a better grasp on that, that attack strategy before I put a video together to share with you. So look for that tomorrow. Um, so today I'm going to take a look at, I'm going to check in on Archimedes, my, my, uh, my little baby account. Because if you remember, this is an account I started two days ago <clears throat> and I'm already, well, I'm telling all four at this point. Um, so I'm kind of proud of this. It's actually kind of fun. All right, it's been a while since I started a new account and going back, it's a, they, you know, it's, it's a simpler time, <laughs> but this is where we're at at the moment. And some things that um, I want to share. One, I was able to secure that third builder in right about 24 hours. And so at this point, th this account is about 50 hours old, um, but really building pretty quickly. And so the gems, I'm all about the gems, right? That third builder hut, it was 500 gems. So if you remember, you start the game with 500 gems, you use 250 to buy the second builder. And then, so I had to come up with 250 gems. And the way I did that, uh, just aggressive, aggressive attacking. Um, all of these, these challenges, all these like five and 10 gem challenges, just knocked out as many of those as I could. Oh gosh. Um, and I cleared a lot of obstacles. I was very aggressive about clearing those obstacles out of there. And then, you know, when you, when you're starting off a base, you get really got to prioritize the storages. Um, I, I don't really care about the, the elixir collectors and the jet or the, uh, the gold mines so much because I can get all the loot I need from attacking, you know, and I'll show you my attack log here. Um, I, I get more loot from attacks that I can hold. And I, so, so it's really all about the storages. Um, couple keys get the storages up so you can get to town hall four because as soon as you can get to town hall four you get the builder base now some things with builder base that um, are great so and this was new right so like when i first started playing I, they didn't have builder base period but one of the one of the newer um, updates when you upgrade your your town hall your troops are boosted to the highest level at that town hall for a couple days that means your builder base troops are boosted as well all right, so if you look at look at the troops here, they're maxed. I have not upgraded these troops that, that far, but they are as maxed as they can be at that level, which is great. It, it means I, I, I can attack pretty strong for a few days. Um, so one mistake I, I did make is I did not prioritize upgrading my Star Lab. So that meant when I, when I upgraded to Star Lab 2, my troops were a little bit stronger, but they weren't as strong as they could have been with the boost. So today I was able, once I got a little more loot, I was able to upgrade to level three and now I've got some pretty strong troops. Um, so the other thing with builder base, uh, more obstacles to clear. There's a ton of obstacles here. I was super aggressive yesterday, just about clearing off every obstacle I, I could just to, just getting those like one, three, five gem uh, clearances just to get to 500 to get that third builder. Okay. And then, um, gosh, all right. The other thing, with builder base, uh, look at my trophy count, 998. So one of the one of the, the achievements for builder base is you get a hundred gems for reaching trophy level 1,000. And I didn't do that yesterday, and so I so I was able to get those gems to devote them towards my fourth builder. But I just super aggressive, even though I, I used up the bonus, I wasn't getting any more loot for it. I, I just kept attacking and attacking and attacking. Um, I attacked a lot <laughs> um, because one of those achievements is to destroy 100 builder halls and you get 30 gems for that. And I'm, I'm getting close to that. So you can see I've already destroyed 94 builder halls at this point. But the other thing that that does is you get your bonus when you attack is higher, right? So now uh, the win bonus, the next time I have rewards, battle rewards available, I got a win bonus of 50,000 and I get my three win bonus is 70,000. And frankly, that's more than I can hold right now. Well, it's almost exactly what I can hold right now total. So I got to work on my storages for here too. Um, but that means that 
next time those, that, those re battle rewards are available, I'll be able to get some big loot and advance my base even further. Oh, and because, because of where I'm at, because where my troops are right now, my troops are boosted. A lot of the people I'm attacking, their troops are not boosted. So as soon as my troop boost is over in like a day and a half, it's, I'm going to have a hard time attacking people. Right, I'm going to be way over my head. I won't be able to really do much of anything. But for right now, I'm going to take advantage of that. Take advantage of that loot. All right. What else have I done? Um, don't forget about the Goblin Campaign. Oh, and actually, even before you get into the Goblin Campaign, this clan castle, as soon as you can build that clan castle, do it. It's uh, And get yourself into a clan so that you can ask for troops. <laughs> right now. Now, I got a little bit of a benefit here because I just joined my own clan. I let myself in. I made an exception to get myself in there. Um, and, and a lot of the, you know, a lot of clans won't, won't accept a, a town hall for the, you know, they, they, they'll just reject you outright or they won't want to help you out or they'll be like, why are you asking for so many troops? But I did. Um, and so a lot of those goblin campaigns attacks, um, first of all, you get to 50 of them, 50 stars on goblin campaign. That's more gems. It's easy loot. Um, but also for a lot of these, I just two balloons of my clan castle that I would launch them, let the balloons do all the work, base is destroyed. All right, and now with my my attacks, I'm going with hogs. All right, two or three max hogs in my castle, and I'm just wrecking people. Like look look at this base here, right? You know, because on my troop, I have, I have barbarians and archers, level two. Right? Like those, they're not doing much, but with three max hogs, I, I take out this base super quick. All right, all I do is I check the clan castle, make sure there's nothing in there, and if there is something in there that I can't handle, I just surrender, move on, try a different one. But since this clan castle is empty, just throw the hogs in, and that, that last little hog, he's doing the work. He's gonna take out that whiz tower, and that's it. Just barge the rest of it. It's easy loot. Like I said, more loot than I can handle. All right, so my, yeah, I've requested 240 troops so far and donated none because nobody wants my level two archers. <laughs> but it is, there you go. All right, oh gosh. Um, yeah, guys, that's about it. Just wanted to give you an update. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with where I'm at so far. And take a look, I've got, I've got a, day and a half left on the troop boost and at that point i'll probably be ready to upgrade to town hall five it's actually there's not a whole lot more for me to update here just want to make sure i get my storages knocked out um i'm, I'm gonna keep dumping a lot of loot into the walls probably get my walls maxed in fact i think th these level four walls that's yep that's the highest i can i can upgrade so hey yeah, i don't i may not even need a day and a half before i'm ready to upgrade um so all right until next time uh I'll check in. It'll probably be a town hall six. <laughs> All right, gang. Take care.